Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Tota Maintenance YouTube channel. I have here today a very quick tech video about this 2012 Tota Highlander Hybrid. And I just finished hybrid transaxle fluid service. And I realized there is one thing which will be confusing a lot of people. And that is location of drain plug. But most importantly, the filler slash level plug. I got my magic wand. Let's put it on. And you will say, hey, the drain plug is as usually right here. What's the big deal, Peter? Well, that's not that's easy. But where is the filler slash fluid level plug? located from Priuses and other Toyotas you know where it should be it should be if this is the drain should be approximately right here and there is a plug with the washer that aluminum washer it's right there but my friend that's not your filler slash the level adjustment plug one more time with full light that is a drain that's correct but the plug above it above the cv axle you will be not using that and you know when you do these services for a safety you first crack loose open the filler and only after that you go for the drain because you don't want to drain the transmission and the filler will be stuck you cannot get it in and fill it up so you will be in the big trouble so we normally advise each other that you start with a crappy cracking open the filler plug but where is it from all other toyotas which you service and you own as a di wire you know there is always plastic shield right here which has 10 millimeter bolts and the shield is bigger and it's hiding the plug and that plug says WS to help you what fluid is in it this is what WS means that's the fluid you are using in these hybrid transaxles and as I was doing this service I immediately realized this will be a problem for someone observe please this plug it's the same hex 10 like the other ones. This is hex 10, that's hex 10 above there. But observe the difference. There's no aluminum crush washer. And because of that, and I will show it to you in the detail, you will leave this area alone. Please don't open this plug. It's just a service and it's not for you. So next time you will be doing yourself hybrid transaxle fluid service on 2012 Highlander, you will know after watch this video, you will know. Here is the another hex 10 plug and you see the difference? It has that aluminum crush washer underneath it. This is your filler slash level plug. This is what you will use. It's not the easiest to get to it. Again, I have a lot of tools, so for me it was easy. You might need some extension and so on. But this is where you will be filling it and observing the level. I had plenty of time on this 2012 Highlander was not in hurry so it was dripping it was draining for a long time almost hour because I was doing something else so I got out four quarts basically it was perfectly four quarts of that ATFWS which you saw on the floor when I injected in four quarts of that WS I perfectly saw the level 
and I used the light from different angles. I lowered the vehicle. I saw the level. It is correct port for entering the fluid and also adjusting the level. So it was what came out that four actually perfectly came in. I didn't need it more and it started very slowly overflowing. After that, I was able to close it, clean everything and this hybrid transaxle has brand new fluid. The fluid was very dirty. The vehicle has 100 11,000 miles, brand new owners. I did inspection for them after they purchased it. Super clean, gorgeous vehicle, but the fluid, it was absolutely clear. So the marks on those ports, on the plugs, you could see it was still factory. They use like a little marker. It was still torque on those, nobody ever touched it. So we have another confirmation and 112, even if the car was obviously driven only in the urban environment, never in the dirt, I can see it on it. It's a time you have to service that fluid, drain it out and inject the new one. And I guess I will give you a little extra, last but not least. It's a hybrid vehicle four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive whatever you want to call it so you know it has a rear and it's not a rear diff it's a rear axle and normally you will think you will have a drain here and a filler right there and you will just get ready gear oil well my friend this is a hybrid trans axle number two and it also uses that WS fluid. So think about this one. I think it's rated 1.8 US quarts. The front, I got exactly four out. Uh, I will continue with this. I will do this service. And I will probably get somewhere over one quart. It will be not full 1.8. I already can see it. Maybe I should film it for you, how it's done. Not sure if I have the time for that. But that's that um, another anomaly. Right? This is a electric motor driven rear transaxle. This is not a rear diff driven by some shaft, propeller shaft from the front. This is completely different technology. So also Toyota WS ATF is inside of this one. And I know this will be helpful for some of you because as a DIYer, you want to learn, you never did it before. So when I saw it might be confusing for someone, I immediately went and Googled it. Sure enough, some jokers are telling you that this is filler, but it's not. It doesn't have the level ability it's just a service port and the rule of thumb is if you don't see that aluminum crush washer under that bolt it can be hex 10 doesn't matter it's made for a different purpose not for the maintenance so now we know it's right here behind it's unusual we always fill the cvts it the plug is hidden here underneath that plastic and it says then FE, right? For CVT, it's a different, completely different fluid. It goes like almost triple per quart. I realized I should show it to you. So this is for those CVT transmissions. And it's a Toyota FE. This got from the dealer. It cost almost like three times more than WS. Super expensive. Also use Toyota only, obviously. Don't try to use any aftermarket. That's what I recommend to you. So I know you guys will find this helpful. I just need to write correct heading so it's clear for those who are looking for the location of the filler plug. If you do find it helpful, 
please give a thumb up and stay tuned. I have way more coming your way soon. Shall I film that reader? See ya.